A CBS 19 health alert now with East Texas student athletes headed to football practice. You should know the bacteria that causes staph infections could be lurking on your child's sports equipment. A new University of California at Irvine study shows schools and gyms need to better eliminate these dangerous germs before they spread. CBS 19's Courtney Friedman joins us live from the Robert E. Lee equipment room. And Courtney, how are they combating staff there? Well, with about 800 athletes at Robert E. Lee, there's a whole lot of equipment to keep track of and keep an eye on and keep clean. Staff infections are usually common in equipment rooms like this, in the locker room, on the field, in the gym. But thankfully, Robert E. Lee has a precautionary system in place that's cutting down on the infection. The footballs, the helmets, the pads, the jerseys, and the towels. All necessary to play the game, but all carriers of staff. Staff accumulates in our nose. Some staff are not as serious as others, but you got MRSA, which is the methicillin resistant staff, which is spread everywhere through locker rooms, and that's where you get the bad infections on the skin, um, and those can become serious. Dr. Brian Lowry treats staff infections every day and says MRSA is most commonly what's found on sports equipment. It can live for 10 days on a, on a hard surface, so it's very hard to get rid of and very, very contagious. Robert Robert E. Lee athletic trainer Amy Langley says a whole lot of effort goes into preventing staff at school. In the last few years, we've become much better at handling staff infections and outbreaks. We really don't see it that often. We may have one or two athletes get a staff infection this year. Down from about 10 to 15 a few years ago. Here at the Robert E. Lee weight room, they use a very specific and strong ingredient called Whizzer to clean off all their equipment. It kills almost all types of staff and DNA. Dangerous bacteria. We make sure the kids aren't sharing towels and soap for starters. We do a lot of education with the kids. Hand washing is obviously a very, very big part of it. Showering after practice, and, and I think it's working. A good thing because staff should never be taken lightly. So if you have a bad skin infection that gets untreated, it can get in your bloodstream, cause serious illness, end up in the hospital from sepsis, which is a whole body infection, uh, and that can be fatal. Well, preventing infection means keeping all of this stuff clean, and as you can see, there's a whole lot of it. The training tables that athletes use are cleaned multiple times a day. Jerseys and clothes, and yes, this is clean that I'm, that I'm holding. They are cleaned every single day in a washing machine just beyond the doors that we're standing by. And equipment like this, helmets and shoulder pads, are cleaned thoroughly after every football season, and they're reconditioned completely after every school year. Obviously a lot of precautions, Courtney, but what does a school do if a child actually does get staff? Well, of course, that student is sent immediately to their doctor or physician to make sure that they're okay and they get the right antibiotics for this. But then, of course, coaches, teachers, and staff members are all alerted that that child does have a staff infection. The classrooms they've been in and all of their belongings are cleaned thoroughly. Live at Robert E. Lee in Tyler Smith County, Courtney Friedman, KYTX, CBS 19 News. Back to you. Thanks, Courtney. I gotta wipe it down good. Mm -hmm. Symptoms of a staph infection are redness and drainage, usually from an open wound. If you have those symptoms, get to a doctor. Staph spreads quickly, especially if you have other, if you have other illnesses like diabetes. We'd like to hear from you about this. Do you avoid allowing your child to play sports, possibly because of getting one of these dangerous staph infections? Vote in our online poll at CBS19.tv. Look for results tonight at 10.